Um, yes, you are welcome. I'm Stephen Chwanukachin Puende. I do uh, do farming, and in particular, I grow coffee. I am uh, uh, right now on Bunga, Bungala Island. Uh, we are in Beta. This is actually Kasekulo. Kasekulo is the village where we are. Uh, Kasekulo is a landing site, but uh, we are adjacent to Kasekulo. Um, we do grow coffee, and uh, coffee is doing well in Sese Island. And that's why we chose grow coffee. Uh, doing the right farming, you are going to have uh, the right bean uh, that will arrive very well because we have the rain, we have the sunshine, which is good for, for coffee. Now, we here we grow coffee, but when you look at our soil, our soil is a bit sandy and uh, it is uh, it, 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 uh, uh, when it rains. It washes away the nutrients very fast, meaning that we need to condition this soil in order to grow the coffee and have it growing very well. So what we do, what I found out that has really uh, helped me is the, the use of uh, um, uh, marula protein uh, fertilizer. This fertilizer does well. It does well for the beans, for the plants. You can see the plant it is very green. Uh, before, uh, the plant would struggle. It would be yellowish. The water retention would be poor. When the sunshine would come, uh, the leaves would, would dry. And at times, the trees themselves would dry because of the heat. But with the Marula protein fertilizer, you have it improving the soil. The sandy soil become improved, it is the uh, fertilizer to improve their capability to retain our water for the plant. So that's why you see this coffee looking um, very, very healthy. Unlike uh, maybe if you go to see the neighbors in plants, which don't have this Amarola protein fertilizer. Uh, we we'll continue to use it. We are trying to expand because we have seen uh, we have a formula now with our Marula uh, protein fertilizer. We can do uh, uh, better uh, farming here. There are like four, five acres, but we have more land the other side, and you, we are going to keep opening up slowly as we use this fertilizer. Uh, what I have also noted. This fertilizer is cheap, relatively cheap. Um, synthetic fertilizers, you are going to have 50 uh, kgs at over 90 plus. You can, the range is uh, 90,000 to maybe 150, but there are also those that go far beyond. But this one, you're going to get it under 50k, you know, uh, a bag of 50 kilograms. So uh, that's why I'm hooked to uh, this fertilizer. And subsequently, as you have seen the beans, the beans are, are big, they are strong, meaning they are going to give me very good weight uh, when it comes to harvesting. And the, the harvesting, every beans, it means the money in the pockets. So that's where we are, and we'll continue. We thank the, the, the makers of this uh, fertilizer. Uh, if we, uh, we can populate this, the world market needs things that are organic. Uh, they, they fetch very good prices. That's why you buy coffee here. It's not coffee that you're going to find on the street, on the market, you know. Uh, you not find it. Uh, buyers, it's going to be by the time we are harvesting, buyers are already known, will prepare it and then ship it as a specialized coffee. Because it is organic, uh, it's growing in the best uh, environment, we are more or less across the equator. So we have uh, the sunshine that we need and the water. Uh, so I think uh, uh, I've said what I need to say, but the beauty in it is that 
the fertilizer is cheap and it does well at the same time uh, what i've come to appreciate is that they are doing cleaning our cities they are collecting the rubbish from the markets process it into uh, fertilizer and the animal feed so it's it's a benefit it's a win-win we win for the um the the the, the, the environment but also um, feeding uh, feeding the the masses uh, thank you uh, very much